Okay, what we have here is a pair of vintage Mercoid Mercury switches. And um, I'm actually making a video of these because I was watching a video of Aussie 50s and I noticed that he had a couple of these, well, the newer versions of these sitting on the corner of his bench. Um, so I figured out oh, what the heck, I'll make a video of them. Um, these are the older style though, that have the full glass window in the front. The newer ones just have a small square in the center. And this one's really dirty. But this one is, this one is a DA21-3 and um, it's capable, now this one, the glass has been replaced with a piece of plastic. Let's just open these up here. But anyway, this one's a DA21-3 and this one is a DA64-3. Um, this one is just a, it would just sit on the, your pipe or whatever is there. And this one is actually a panel mount meet, um, switch that has the um, pressure connection in the back of it. But this one here appears to be new as because it still has the little lock tab attached with a wire here and there is still the um, tissue paper wadding in there to keep the mechanism from moving during transportation. So I'm going to pull this out just so we can get a better view of it. It's like disintegrating as I'm trying to get out of there. Okay, so there we have it. Let's zoom in on these. Now this one, this one here appears to this one here appears to break contact on pressure rise, and this one or this one makes contact on pressure rise, this one breaks contact on pressure rise. Um, this one is capable of adjusting between 0 and 150 PSI, if we can see on the scale there. And I believe um, between the two needles at their smallest point, I believe is 8 pounds pressure differential. And um, it's a maximum pressure of 240 PSI rated at. And how it operates is you have your little glass tube up here with the mercury inside, similar to an old style thermostat. As the pressure rises, the mechanism tilts that vial of mercury and either makes or breaks the connection. Now, I believe you can simply just turn this little bracket around, like on this one, if I wanted to have this one as a um, make contact or break contact on rise, just turn that, um, take the mount off, flip it the other way, and flip the vial the other way. Um, as you can see, these two are facing in opposite directions. Um, and this one, this one is, operates the same way. This one appears to be all brass construction inside. I don't have a magnet on me to test right now. This one is either, um, it might be just nickel plated, but I'm not positive. It might be steel, but this one is, rated from 50 to 350 PSI with the minimum difference between the needles of 14 PSI and a maximum pressure of 600 PSI. So there we have it. Quite simple. I don't have anything to hook them up to to demonstrate right now, but um, as you can see these two, there's little knurled nuts coming out the side and this is 
what's used to adjust the pressure and you just read it on the dial and then this little tab would go in here and be wired in place to keep these from turning most of the time when you find these things that little tab is missing like on this one this one here the knurled nuts are like completely trashed as well but anyway there we have it mercury uh, mercoid mercury switches you can see there's the rating tag don't know if you can see that but it says that it's rated um, what is it 115 volt 10 amp 230 volt 5 amp single pole single throat switch single phase half horsepower rating I believe this one's the same although this one's listed as single capacitor motor three-quarter horsepower single phase half horsepower and DC half horsepower so there we go um, Mercoid mercury pressure switches thanks for watching